Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, we're going to be talking about astrology and the death of Dustin Diamond. I was a little bit bewildered and shocked by by his death. It's a very you know, tragic thing. He he had been diagnosed with some kind of lung cancer like about three weeks prior to his death, but this thing it must have really accelerated uh, rapidly. And the thing about uh, this is, I mean, to me it was very um, very shocking and surprising and my prayers go out to Dustin Diamond's uh, family and friends at this time. He was a beloved character on Saved by the Bell, as many of you may know, it was a hit, I'd say fairly hit series in the early 90s. And this was, um, again, it was very startling uh, to me, only 44 years old, and we hear a lot of these stories about people passing away, and, and they pass away so young, just very... Um, very tragic. He played that eccentric, uh, dirty, uh, screech character on, uh, let's say, by the bell, and he's really a uh, very, uh, it's just you talk about a very memorable character. And uh, the thing about uh, what I'm going to talk about in this video, of course, is going to be about transits and natal placements in his chart that may have been tied into his uh, passing. Now, he did die of the uh, the lung cancer. Now, I don't have his time of birth, so again, I had to improvise and do a solar slash sunrise chart in which I put the sun at the same position as the ascendant. He is a sun in Capricorn, uh, moon in Leo, born on January 7th, 1977. And... Um, Somebody that really looked good for you know, 44 years old. He had very youthful countenance and, and appearance. And uh, the thing about that is perhaps his Mercury conjunct his um, son might may have played a role in that. Uh, the one thing that really, I mean, uh, to me it's obvious. I'm looking at his chart based on the solar sunrise chart. He does have Gemini on the cusp of the sixth house. The sixth house, of course, can be tied in with physical health debilitations and issues. Um, and Gemini does rule the lungs, so it's not surprising he had some issue uh, that was tied in uh, with it with his lungs. Uh, he also, at this time uh, as well, transit uh, North Node was also making uh, an in conjunct, at least a loose in conjunct, to his son in Capricorn. And when we're talking about in conjuncts in astrology, they can be about health related issues and when you're talking about the north node uh, in conjunct with the sun north node being in gemini north node again could be connected with gemini related issues i mean G gemini can be uh, um it can the fact that it's an in conjunct tells me that there might have been issues to confront that might have been gemini related and i don't think it would exclude health related issues and he did have the problem uh with his lungs and the thing about uh, this as well, uh, at the time of his passing, he did, uh, when I've talked about this in previous videos, but I'm going to say it again, when you have uh, in his chart, based on the solar sunrise time, he does have, at the very least, a loose um, fixed T-square configuration. It consists of the, uh, uh, there, what might be a loose opposition from Jupiter and Taurus to Uranus and Scorpio squared by the moon uh, conjunct Saturn in Leo. And what happens is if you have a transit that opposes the focal point in a T-square configuration, often significant events can transpire in that person's life. At this time, he had transit Jupiter, um, at least making a loose opposition to that, um, that focal point, that moon uh, Saturn conjunction in Leo. Now the thing is, well, Jupiter is that benign, benevolent planet, but it can have some negatives. Jupiter can be tied in with cancer, things that are cancerous. In fact, it's in Aquarius. I mean, I'm not being flippant with this, but Aquarius is like that progressive planet, and it's very spontaneous. So I'm thinking that might have had some role in maybe this, this cancer progressing at more of a rapid accelerated pace than most uh, in a lot of instances. And it, the fact it's opposing that, that moon in Leo, and at least based on the solar sunrise chart, 
that could be an indicator that there's opposition between what was cancerous and his uh, what he may have been going, getting a public acclaim for publicly recognized that being an actor entertainment uh, being in the limelight getting exposure because the moon can be about public recognition and it is in Leo the sign of entertainment applause um, acting uh, so this is something uh, where I mean it's again just a very you know, terrible tragedy that took place now in the solar sunrise chart he has Uranus conjunct the midheaven so it's not surprising he had a career in television uh, Uranus can be connected with television also too um, interestingly enough at the time that the Saved by, he starred in Saved by the Bell near that time his progressed son either entered Aquarius or was very close to it and he did play a little bit of an eccentric type of personality very unique even though it was a nerdy character very unique uh, type of uh, person and you know, perhaps showed some idiosyncratic behavior and I think a lot of that was because you know astrologically his son had progressed into the zodiac sign Aquarius and the sun is can sun can be about you know how we can be seen to some degree it can be how we're shining um, so and the thing too is looking at his chart it was interesting that when uh, Larry King passed away okay Larry King's ascendant was like 16 degrees Capricorn and Dustin Diamond has the sun at 17 degrees Capricorn based on the solar sunrise time transit Pluto was not far from his son at the time of death now Pluto I understand it's not conjunct by transit to his natal son but I don't think we could definitively say that even if the transit planet is like eight degrees from a point in one's chart that it does that that planet it's you know it's near it's in close proximity to doesn't get any vibration from it and uh, I've noticed seems like a lot of people that are you know Capricorn Sun or ascended people have been passing away lately these bar celebrities and you have um, transit Pluto is the planet of death the Sun is about life and based on the solar sunrise chart there were a lot of planets transiting that first house of dust and diamonds which of course could be connected with the physical body he had like six it's like six planets transiting that first house and Larry King had a number of planets transiting the first his first house as well when he passed away so and interestingly enough Jupiter transit Jupiter is conjunct the Sun in that first house of dust and diamonds the solar Sun and the solar sunrise chart and Jupiter again could be about cancer things are cancers Sun is can be about life in the physical body and it falls in that first house of the physical body in his chart now another thing I noticed too is that dust and diamond uh, also I mean what I find um, you know it's interesting about uh, about his chart okay uh, well one transit that I wanted to make note of is that he had transit mercury not far from the natal Venus so that could be an indicator of some news fact it's an Aquarius very unexpected about maybe him being at peace maybe in a maybe in a more spiritual realm at this time because he had natal Venus and Pisces in transit Mercury and Aquarius was conjoining it or well a loose conjunction to it at the time of his passing uh, Dustin Diamond also had transit south node in Sagittarius not far from his natal Neptune in Sagittarius now that could be when you have transit conjunctions involving the south node it can manifest in what we're going away from and the fact that the transit south node was not far from his natal Neptune it may have been going from an unrealistic uh, maybe philosophy or maybe even could be maybe a philosophy that was you know he was too maybe intransigent about and which could make that maybe maybe in some you know it could have manifested in that maybe he became more spiritually bound at the time of his um, of his passing it could have been going away from a certain spiritual belief or opinion and uh, 
maybe it might have manifested in something that he felt would actually help him you know later on you know for those of you that believe you know that there is an afterlife uh, after you know the one we experience on our on mortal mundane plane so hold on a moment people sorry about that I'm back but anyway and the thing is I mean I could see you know certain things in this chart where it shows certain you know degrees of being you know elements of being successful well the one that stands out he's got a very good trine coming from his uh, Jupiter to his natal Sun and that could be you know, that could make being very auspicious for you know luck with money uh, during your life I would say Jupiter in Taurus could be very auspicious for things of a monetary financial nature and making it in doing uh, in the fact that it's trining his son can work very well with where, where he was shining uh, in his life and in just his life in general and so the, these are some things uh, to look at I mean he, as far as transits natal placements that might have been you know not just tied in this passing but how you know some of the things I've talked about too were connect connected with how you know him being uh, him being successful as well also that moon he has the moon conjunct Saturn in Leo based on the solar sunrise time so this could be you know, show where he was certain responsibility as far as what he was gaining his uh, public recognition for being an actor something in entertainment I think he might have also been involved with like music as well he might have been doing he was doing some other things with entertainment I gotta look at his uh, hold on a moment people want to look at his uh, little mini bio on Wikipedia well it states too on Wikipedia he was also um, a director and a stand-up uh, comedian uh, as well and also a musician so he was fairly versatile as well and the fact that Gemini falls on that six house cusp in the solar sunrise chart could be an indicator that there you know certain um, you know versatility in the daily routine so um, I mean, he really to me I know he had he had some kind of issue where he had been I don't know if he actually did it he had been accused I think of stabbing uh, somebody uh, he may have had jail time for that he does have Mars in the 12th house of incarceration in the solar sunrise chart and Mars can be connected with um, you know cutting instruments which can include uh, you know, knives um, 12th house is the house of incarceration uh, and the thing is the fact that fall fell in a it's in Capricorn the sign the sign connected with status and reputation this might have had more of an impact on his reputation uh, more so uh, than a lot of other people another thing too I wanted to uh, point out too is that uh, this fourth house is Taurus in the solar sunrise chart so even though he did pass away due to something cancerous it was probably a very you know you know the atmosphere is probably very peaceful and tranquil he does have Jupiter in that fourth house of the end uh, of life and Jupiter again could be about something that's cancerous the fact that some Taurus might have been something that seemed like was hitting him more persistently or it was something that was more obstinate and didn't you know it was just something that you know maybe he just felt like you know why isn't this going uh, away and it, another thing too is that the ruler of that of the fourth house of the end of life falls in the second house so that's another indicator that it may have um, been more of a you know peaceful you know passing and uh, the thing about it too is that being in the second house I'd hate to think that it might have impacted you know, when he was you know when he was on death's door that this might have impacted his self-esteem or self-worth or how he felt about it, how he felt about himself um, and another thing I noticed too is that in the solar sunrise chart he has Leo on the cusp of the eighth house so it's a death where that could manifest in a death that might gain some notoriety or attention and recognition uh, the ruler of that the Sun falls in the first house of course in the solar sunrise chart because the Sun is at the same point as the ascendant in the solar sunrise chart 
I've noticed people that have had like a placement like that, like the ruler of the, you know, the eighth and the first, or Pluto in the first house, and I've noticed that there seems to be a tendency where the death may often take place at an earlier point in life. I understand the first house is connected with the early childhood, but a theory I have is that when somebody has a placement like that, when they have you know, like the ruler of the eighth in the first, or the ruler of the fourth, fourth house in the first house um, of early childhood, or even Pluto in that, um, in that house, it seems like in a lot of instances you'll find a greater propensity for the person passing away at an earlier stage in their life than average. Um, so anyway, um, those are some things I'm looking at as far as this, uh, as far as transits natal placements that may have been tied in uh, to his passing. And again, it's just, uh, you know, it's very tragic that something like this uh, had transpired. He was also going through his Chiron uh, return uh, at this time as well. And, you know, in, in it's still, I mean, so there might have been more, it might have been in Aries, and it might have been something that was more painful uh, at this time. And, you know, something like Chiron and Aries could be, you know, sometimes feelings of not being worthy uh, enough. And, and I hope he wasn't feeling like this at the time, because he certainly, I mean, he was, you know, a fairly iconic figure on that save by the Bell series. He may have had some issues that transpired after the series was over. I've seen that trend happen with many uh, people that, um, child actors, people that are famous at a young age, and sometimes they, they have trouble finding their way once they gain certain acclaim and notoriety when they're very, when they're very young. Um, you look at like Danny Bonaduce is another example, or Todd Wills from Different Strokes. Uh, people, you know, you just hear about you know, these people getting into trouble later on after they become famous very early. It's hard for them to find work, consistent work, uh, a lot of times after they attain that fame early on. But anyway, um, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Learned saying stay well.